today I have something very special for you because today we're going to be turning Stardew Valley from a cute game to a kawaii game as I'll be showing you 10 cute adorable and also super pink Stardew Valley mods to kawaiiify your game. Also, before we go any further, just a shout out to Ido Atu in this and the Lass who've also done cute Stardew mod showcases. They covered a few different mods to what we're looking at today, so if you want to see the mods they looked at, their videos will be linked in the description below. But when I'm saying we turn the entire game kawaii, I mean we turn the entire game kawaii. Starting off with the title screen, our first mod is the Overgrown Flowery Interface. This mod changes the entire interface of the game. The menu, startup screen, anything that you could consider UI is changed to look like this. On top of that, we also have a custom menu background mod installed. I found when I was playing with the Overgrown Flowery Interface mod, the background was quite intense so the custom menu background kind of helped tone it down and look at the choices you get with this chat look at this look how many options you have what i've chosen is just the main menu and with the main menu you can choose a bunch of different backgrounds but you can also cho choose the load menu you can choose what the night sky looks like you can choose what the summer sky looks like you can choose what the clouds look like i don't even know you could have that level of customization in stardew i want to have a look at a few from the main menu to see what we can do Wait, what's that background? Look, this is new too. This is also part of the custom background mod. This one's really cute. Wait, this one's scary. Which one did I choose? They came from above. Oh, I got like an alien one. Wait, this one isn't cutesy at all. This is scary. Let's go for one that's cutesy. Let's fit within the, the themes. Sailor Moon. Surely Sailor Moon has to be cutesy, right? Pretty adorable. I like this one. I like the color schemes used on this one. I like that it's like a sunset. It's like more subtle than the the one we had it before. Wait, what else have we got? Strawberry milk? This one might be my favorite. This one works really well with the flowery interface. Can you still spam E? Click for the alien? Oh, the, wait, the alien's cuter. Wait, that was so cute. <laughs> I love the designs for the flowery interface. The lavender, the little flowers, the little sparkles on the chickies. The flowery interface also goes through and changes like literally all your interfaces in the game. So all the ones like our little UI up here. Oh, the wanted, the help, the help wanted board did change. Who put the little flowers there? There's actually quite a few cute interface mods that you can get. And I was debating which one to choose because there's the Starry Sky interface mod, which I love and I'll put it on the screen now. But there's one reason I chose to showcase this mod over the Starry Sky interface. All the channels on the TV have cats on them. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> What's he doing? He's not a weather reporter. Why is he there? Also, you'll notice my mouse is a cat paw. That's a mod in itself. It's literally called cat paw pointer, which turns your mouse into a cat paw. To go along with the cute interface, you obviously need cute buildings. Specifically, you need pink buildings. So that's why our next mod is called cute valley. Well, it's meant to change the look of your house, but our house isn't looking so great at the moment. In fact, this mod also turns everything in the game pink. You'll notice the shipping bin is looking uh, not quite the same as it was before. The mailbox, a little bit extra pink. Even our tools have a slight shade of pink on them. Wait, why is the scythe so much more pink than the other one? Do the weapons get pinker as you go up in like quality? They do! They, they do! And your tools get more adorable as you go up in quality. Look at the Iridium compared to the base game one. Look at this axe. I wonder if all the weapons have changed. They have! Look at this infinity blade. Oh my god, it's like you can be a murderer but with style. Wait, the insect head is just Pikachu. <laughs> it's just Pikachu. <laughs> What's the galaxy sword look like? Galaxy dagger, hammer. It's a lollipop? I can beat the slimes with a lollipop. Come here, taste the sweetness. 
If the pink isn't your flavor either, there's also a blue version of this mod, which is very cute because it's super like baby blue pastel style. I'm not sure about this house. I think uh, I think we need to get some upgrades. Wow, the house upgrade. There's a bunny on my bed. Okay, well, the house is upgraded. Let's see what it looks like on the outside. Dude, this house looks amazing i did like the overgrown look of the last house so i probably would have liked a little bit more vines but this is this is really cute it's like i'm living in Candyland, dude it fits with my lollipop murder weapon let's see what the final house design looks like wow and here's the extended house dude Dude, I'm living in Barbie's dream house. This is my Mojo Dojo Casa house, dude. Look at the flowers. Wow, we can go, we can sit on the chair. I actually have some extensions of this mod that allows you to change the colors and looks of like craftable items, chicken coops, barns, and furniture you can place around the house. But for now, we're gonna leave it at this and we will be doing a complete redesign of our farm later on to show off those mods. So stick around for that. If you play a lot of Stardew Valley and you have a keen eye, you would have noticed the actual world of Stardew looks a little bit different. That's because we have a recolor mod installed called Rosier Colored Glasses. This gives the entire look of the game a slight tint. Uh, I'll put up a comparison on the screen right now because you can actually see how drastic it looks. There's a reason I chose this mod. Because if you just happen to go over to my second favorite season fall this is why i chose this recolor because the pink is so in intense a change of the game itself is nice but what about if you want the look to go with it recently i've been getting way too much into sailor moon and one of the reasons for that is because the fashion in the show is incredible so imagine my surprise when i found a mod that adds a bunch of sailor moon outfits to stardew valley not just the sailor outfits but crop tops overalls that usagi wears uh, i believe you have a neat bow shirt you've got orange striped shirts you have a pink button up you've got pink cardigans a turtleneck wait i want to see this one that's really cute you can wear kimonos if you want you also have tuxedo mask uh, outfit is somewhere yeah there you've got you can be tuxedo mask this is the selling point for me the fact that you could just be tuxedo mask if you wanted dude the kimonos are really cute that fits quite well into the art design i think this might be a best part of the mod there's also meant to be hairstyles there is that's jupiter's hairstyle isn't it yes this is the best part of this you can get the actual hairstyles from Sailor Moon. I'm Nino Moon. There is a lot that it adds. It's actually kind of hard to find the ones you want. I wish there was like a category you could see them for. Like if they said Sailor Moon on them. That's the Sailor Moon mod. If you're a fan of 90s anime or Sailor Moon, this is a must get in my opinion. The next fashion mod we're going to be having a look at is called Sweet Lolita Outfits. I'll be honest with you, chat. I don't know a whole lot about Lolita fashion, but I saw the dresses in this mod and thought they were really cute and would be a perfect fit for our showcase today. Wait, that's such a cute dress. <laughs> Dude, this is so aesthetic. It's meant to come with hairstyles. Does, what's the hairstyles you can get? Oh, okay, maybe I don't know how I feel about the hairstyles. Oh, you can put a bow in your hair. A bow, a head bow? I can have wings? Dude, what are we, Sephiroth? We look like a Final Fantasy character. I don't know anything about Lolita fashion, so please don't get mad at me if I say something wrong. I'm doing my best here. I just thought the dresses were cute. Oh, I like this one. Can you imagine me walking around town and we're dressed like this? I'm the Christmas angel. But Chad, I don't want to be selfish here. I don't want to be the only ones with the new look. So our next category of mods, the next two we're going to be looking at are actually portrait mods for the villagers of Stardew Valley. And the first portrait mod we're looking at is Ken Meowie's portrait mod. I think that's how I say this. Let's go have a look at some of the villagers to see what they look like. This one definitely has a very out there art style, I think, for the game. I thought it was cute enough that it would really fit if you are looking for a complete change of the art style. See, this one gives them a super chibi style. It's super stylized, but I think it's really adorable. And I love the flowery interface that goes along with it. I think the two mods together are very cute. 
Shane's one is so funny. It's it's chibi, but he's like still drunk, you know? Emily and Seb kind of look similar in this style. I like the way they draw the eyes. I think that's what I really like about it. Sam, what does your portrait look like? Dude, what? He looks like Breath of the Wild Link or like Skyward Sword Link, dude. If this isn't your cup of tea, maybe this isn't the one you want. Maybe you don't like the uh, drastic style change. That's okay, because I also have another portrait mod that stays far more in line with the traditional art style of Stardew Valley. For the Stardew Valley art style loyalists out there, I have you covered for our next portrait mod, because the next one we are looking at is the seasonal outfits mod. And some of you will know, you'll go, Nino, you've showcased this mod before, and yes I have, for good reason, it's my favorite mod. And I will show you why. Every single character in the game will have a new outfit depending on the season, and even at times, depending on if they are inside or outside. They will have a different outfit for every festival, and it just makes them look amazing. Let's have a look at Marnie here. Look at Marnie, dude. Look how sweet she looks. The little flower, the scarf. She's all springed up. Our girls are glowed up. Who's this, Leah? It's so cute. If you're looking for something that keeps in the style of Stardew Valley, I think you need this mod. Like, and truthfully, I genuinely think this is a must have mod. Notice how it changes their sprites too. So all their sprites change per season. You also notice they don't have noses. I forgot to turn that off. You can actually give them their noses back. That was all their spring. So now if we go to fall, Hayley, what are you wearing? Girl, what you wearing? What's that little blue outfit? Whoa, what is that? The stripes on Hayley? Look at her hair. And it actually looks like it would be in the style of the game. Bro, and Lewis. Dude, Lewis is, is dressed up, dude. Lewis looks like he was about to have a meeting with like fucking Al Capone. So yeah, this is more if you want sort of a portrait mod that's in line with the actual look of the game. And if you're a Stardew Valley expanded player, they actually have an expanded version of this mod too. They really went with everything here. Who's this? Penny! <laughs> Penny with the little beanie. That's so cute. I love this mod. We need to go to the next mod. Otherwise, I'll just spend like the next two hours looking at every character. Earlier, I said we'd be going through and checking some of the more adorable design mods. And finally, we have the chance to show them off. But to properly do that, we need to completely revamp this entire house. And wow, with the power of editing, here we are. This is our new and improved farm. And look, everything is so cute and pink. I like this little fountain area we made. We can't actually walk into it because I, I placed the well too close to the entrance. Everything you can see is from about three to four mods. All the pinkness, all the adorable outside design. This is all from the cute valley mods and from the extensions that came with it, which is the cute pink and white craftables and also the more buildings for cute valley, which adds the chicken coop and the barn and also the mill and the silo and the the well might actually be my favorite i think that's adorable also all the rare crows and scarecrows and pink valley they're all cats just for the cuteness so we picked the ones that look like my real life cats i believe the inside of all the yes and the inside of all the chicken coops and the barns have completely changed it's like girl boss farming you know this genuinely feels like a farm that you would go around when you're playing like an old barbie game but my exterior design skills aren't as good as my interior design skills and i'm very happy with this interior design look at this Look how cute this is. This is what you can do when you have these mods installed. You also notice that the flooring and the walls are actually a little bit different. This is from the Hojiches Walls and Flower mo mod. I think that's how you say it. Hojiches, it'll be on the screen. You can see it on the screen. With that mod, using the alternative textures mod installed with it, you can actually go through and select a bunch of new wallpapers. They're kind of like slightly toned down versions of the actual base game ones, which are very cute. I was a personal fan of the um, of the bookshelf ones, the pink cider, and also the cloud designs for the baby room. I thought that, that was very cute. It also changes the flooring. 
So the flooring, you can go for like a grayscale if you wanted, or more inline traditional looking ones, or with these new designs that are coming. I went with these because I wanted to keep things, everything very light and desaturated and very, very cute, which I think I did a good job of. I think this looks good, looks adorable. I think this is very, very sweet. This is like the most girly pop house I've ever designed. Oh, how could I forget? The grass. This is Ali's flower grass, which completely changes the grass in the game to be this lavender pink looking. It's adorable. I love it. I, I feel like this mod, the grass mod, it's like the cherry on top for it. Cause could you imagine like this adorable pink little farm and then it's just green grass that grows as weeds. Oh, and uh, I don't know if you can see them, but we, we got the fatter and cuter animals mod. How can you go through cute mods without adding these guys in? Look at these chickens. Look how chubby they are. Look how adorable they are. Almost as cute as me. And my farm. Oh, look at this design for this interior. A lot of this was from the Cute Valley mod, which went through and changed. It changes a lot of the paintings. This seat here, I think is my favorite addition of furniture because it's like a Sailor Moon seat. Like it's got the moon. Look at that, sitting on the Sailor Moon seat. Our final addition to the Pink Palace and probably the cutest thing in this house. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all try out some of the mods. Uh, they'll all be linked in the description below if you wanna check them out. And while you're down there, why not hit the subscribe button, you know? If you have any other kawaii or cute mods that you would recommend that I missed out or didn't mention in the video, please let me know because I love seeing what you guys use. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.